Hi everyone, my name is Yingzi Ma, and I will be presenting my research on interactive and the scenario-based simulation gaming system using game engine and machine learning. So let me kind of talk like an abstract of my paper. So technology has become like increasingly virtual in society. The COVID-19 pandemic destroyed the how useful technology was keeping society running, especially education. One major trend is to use of the simulations as tool for education. Business is one of the fields that could benefit massive from this um, implementation of new educational simulations. For this study, a survey was conducted to gauge this previous educational experience and the interest in fields such as business and computer science. Additionally, the survey participants uh, were questioned on their previous experience with using interactive simulations. The study had 51 uh, participants both complete the survey and give consent to their data shared in this research paper. This part, uh, these participants were given an additional survey to either test business simulation or watch video of one of the res um, respondents, whether they learned from it. The result include although most people want to play the game through about business, only roughly 45% of uh, individuals express interest in the topic of business. Furthermore, the survey response also uh, indicates a large majority of industrial would also perform more intensive educational simulation for other topics. The reception of business simulation were mostly positive. And particip participation include um, indicates that it was expected at helping them learning business. Overall, it is concluded that there's no not enough access to the business simulation to meet the public interest, and that either more should be created or existing one should be made better known. So there are two uh, crucial topics that was related to my research topic are business and computer science. The concern of business has been around a very long time. The ancient society was to record trade goods as early as 17,000 BCE or over to, uh, like 20,000 years ago. Due to human nature and the lack of like natural motivation to provide goods and service to other result expectation of rewards or payback, business will remain a necessary part of society. Computer science is increasingly more common in education. So as technology continues to advance in the simulation become more reliable, educational simulation has been studied to have significant effect on st students' learning and understanding of concepts. This simulation can provide users with an opportunity to gather experience in safe and easy to use virtual environments. By being more involved in their education and being exposed to more creative activity that may not be possible without simulation, students can benefit very much. So the research question I would like to explore is, are business simulation effective and needed by the general public? An explanation of what inspired the research on this topic is my development of a game related to business education. This game was created in Unity and involved a food truck. Each in-day game, a player can visit like a location on a map, hire a chef that each have their own food selection, and let the simulation play itself. Based on what order was received and how ex, you know, expensive each chef was hired, the amount of money will be updated after each day. So after a certain amount of days pass, the game will move on to an end screen and show how much money was made and give player option you know, to play again or quit the game. Let me just show a quick demo here. So this is the food truck simulation. So we have three colors to choose from food truck. We'll be choosing yellow food truck here. Yeah, that's the yellow food truck. Yeah, so we, we have the map with three location now to choose from, but we were choosing the city first. So after we go to say we can hire a chef right now. We start off with $10,000 to hire a chef that each have different like machine starts and machine 
starts determine how many food items they can experience in one monthly cost entire. After choosing, you know, our chef, that's ready for the better choose. Now, yeah, we are choosing. Yeah, after choosing our chef, we will get order from people and animation will play by preparing delivery the food. The day ends. After the day ends, let's wait for it. So we can see there's a water there. So the day ends and we go back to map, choose another location. Let's go with amusement park now. And we made some money earlier and now we'll be able to choose more expensive chef to hire. So now we are actually going to update the chef of like one machining star chef to a two machining star chef to run the simulation. So we can see the same, like, we have like already prepared those and they just ordered food and we just kind of gave, yep. Oops. So here is actually the code uh, for ordering food. And it's over code for food menu too. Uh, the purpose of the simulation is to educate people who may not be familiar with business and teach them about the process behind the running the food business. Some of the challenges that were faced with creating the project were implementation of uh, certain features. So for example, the money did not update properly after the second days and the end screen does not uh, correctly display amount of money. So in the future, something uh, that could be done different with the project, like it's not being over um, ambitious and ensuring that the fundamental features of game are complete before trying to implement more extra. Oops. Now let's move to extinct research. So the two main topics are from the, in the research that have exposed the factors and the benefit of simulation-based learning in business education. There are three main factors that are measured when judging business simulations. The fa first factor is uh, verification, which confirmed that simulation function as intended without any major uh, glitches. The second one is validation which is the ability of simulation to accurately reflect on like how a scenario would play out in a real life. The last one is fidelity, which is measure how realistic the simulation is. This last factor can harm experience of player if it is used incorrectly. However, if a simulation is too realistic, the player may just you know, distract from having too much information and may not be able to focus on main point of the simulation. Benefit from the simulation-based learning can include like boost the teacher and student motivation, as well as better student performance and assignments. Programmers who create this like simulation plan their development carefully to help players learn as effective as possible. Definitely, when we do research, there's some research gap. So a gap that I choose to address in this field of like business education research is audience of business education simulation. Current research of business like education shows the audience of like business education simulation and the effect that the kind of audience can have on learning are not closely studied. The audience of business simulation could include both students of business or member of general public who may not have any previous experience with business education. Now it's massive. So I choose to uh, collect my data through a survey. That's a survey to ask the participants about the knowledge and the interest in the top topics of business and computer science. 
Participants were also asked about their previous experience with game and simulation. The participants were given image of simulation and the interactive, uh, interactive games and asked what could be learned from taking part in the simulations and games. Some survey questions were uh, multiple choice, while other questions were just free response. Uh, this previous participant was um, with a, ch a chance to fully express their thoughts. Now let's maybe kind of go through the data here. So 51 particip uh, participants complete the survey. I would score most like, significant questions from the survey, which are, do you prefer learning by reading or learning by doing? So if there's a game which can help you to understand business more, would you play it? Do you believe that there should be a more interactive simulation for other topics as well? And have you ever learned business? So as you can see in the top left there, the when asked about if people prefer learning by reading or learning by doing, most prefer learning by doing, while the rest are they were between a mix of both, uh, depending on the situation. Next, let's take a look at the top right. Now, when we ask this game, like help others understand more about the concept, over half of the people answered positively about playing a game. Um, only 7.9% say no. So now let's move on to bottom left. 92.2% of people answer that there should be more interactive simulations for other topics as well. Many of them appears to have the positive view of simulation. Next, let's take a look at the last data. When asked if there's learned business, over 50% say no. Compared to the previous data, when, you know, we are many seems to be interested in this business, a surprising number of people did not have much education or knowledge on the topic of business before. You know, finally, we can move on to our last section of data analyze, which is like include the game testing over here, you know, in the top middle, only 11 out of 51, or just, we can say 21.6% uh, were able to test on game because their um, how difficult this testing process was uh, to follow. And other 40 um, watch a demo video of game instead. Um, in the bottom left, 90.9% of people who play the game learn about business from it and want to see a simulation like this in the future. Our final data on the bottom right, like stats that 90% of people who watch the demo and learn about business from it, and 95% of people that would like to see simulation like this in the future. So this result can show that general public willing and able to learn from the simulations. Now let's talk about conclusion. The conclusion that I have created from my gathering data is that there's need for more easily accessible business education simulations by uh, the general public. This is because the data shows that many of those among the general public have an interest in business and would like to learn, but like they either do not have access to their simulation or they don't know where to find the simulations. Even though business and important part of society, many participants report they are just not educated in business, which shows that the increase in those accessible business simulation will be very helpful. From this conclusion, I can expect that like more research may be um, performed on this, how to make business education simulations easier or members of the general public to use as a result. Since most of the simulations are mainly designed for business students, by creating and distributing a survey, creating a research question, and analyzing the survey data, I have reached this conclusion. Here is a little bit about limitations. The main limitation I can uh, I came across when I concluding this research is sharing my Unity project with the participants to test my game. To send the game for testing, I send the entire Unity project folder to the online. However, many participants found it difficult to follow the testing process, as it involved downloading Unity and correct Unity version on their own devices. Unzipping an important product folder, uh, a running game from Unity, in the end, a testing part was not required and participants only have to complete the survey. Since the game was originally like, meant to be most important part of research, this was a shame. Another limitation that I had was lack of participants. 
Some who complete the survey refuse to have their data included as part of my research, and it was difficult to gather more participants and still have time to perform complete data analyzing the time frame that I had. While I was able to have 51 members of the general public fully complete the survey, um, there was still an opportunity to account more variability with larger sample size. Since the survey was also spread to only few social networks, there was not much rep uh, representation of various groups. If I ever con uh, conduct more research in the future, I will be sure to spend more time and efforts into um, distributing the survey preventives. Now is my research, uh, future research. So in the future, what I hope to achieve is the testing of game. I created an inspired research in the first place. So because of some complications in the testing process, that was not account for, accounted for. The participants were only able to complete the survey rather than just test out the game as initially planned. If I you know, continue my research, I hope to distribute the game by uploading to the website such as GitHub. Um, didn't send a link to participants. I also hope to um, improve the game itself in the future by adding win condition, random events, and pause menu, uh, detailed money balance page, and more animation. Uh, discussing the uh, effectiveness of business simulation is another way to expand my research as this topic that uh, will go well with the testing of my game. Thank you so much.